Our special guest this week is Tyrese Hunter. Get to know him a little bit more. He's from Wisconsin, played his freshman year at Iowa State in Ames, and he was the Big 12 Freshman of the Year. And, of course, second season at Texas. The highlight of this year, the game winner against Baylor on January 20th. All right, it's the middle of winter, Tyrese. Compare a winner here in Austin, Texas, now two of them, to Ames, Iowa, and Wisconsin. Our summer. Our summer down in Wisconsin. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So advantage winters here in Austin. Yeah, and it's crazy because I always said I wanted to live in Texas when I was young. So for me to get the opportunity to come out here, play basketball, do something I love is amazing. And just a bonus with the weather. So did you grow up in Wisconsin? Yeah, like born and life. raised there? Born and raised my whole life. So tell me about this Texas infatuation. How did that start? I mean, I always knew Texas didn't get any snow like that. So <laughs> I was always wanting to get away from the snow. I didn't want to walk to school in the snow no more. You know, we had to walk to school and it was about three miles walking to school. So um, just wanted to get out of that, wanted to get in the sun, you know, wanted to wear shorts all, all year round. So first year, you're in Ames. I know it's cold. A lot of success, though, in that first season. Then the opportunity to look around a little bit. What is it ultimately, besides the warmer weather, mm -hmm. that led you to the University of Texas? Um, I think it's just first just starting off uh, just being, you know, where I was wanted at, uh, seeing where, you know, I can further my career at, um, having coaches that treat me like family, um, and then just, you know, just wanting to build a relationship with the players on the team. I think uh, last year my biggest thing was building relationships you know, having another point guard, Marcus Carr, uh, and I, I talked to him a lot uh, during the summer, um, just, you know, him recruiting me and just building that brotherhood, um, him, you know, guys, Timmy Allen, Jabari Rice, and just talking to those guys and just seeing, you know, the vision we can have to go, you know, try to win the whole thing. So you're talking about some studs, some great players that were great leaders. What was the transition like losing them in the offseason and developing a new role for yourself? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to happen throughout my whole career, just losing players, um, you know, and, you know, the coach staff did a good job, you know, bringing players in, you know, replacing that role, uh, you know, and, you know, just having that brotherhood. You know, we still got Jabari Rice. He's, he's still around. He comes around um, and, he, you know, as a brother, he's always at my house just kicking with me, giving me advice. So, awesome. I mean, you know, I lost them off the court, but, you know, I mean, on the court, but off the court, you know, they're still with me all the time. So watching you play, a toughness comes to mind. It just seems like for whatever reason, you exude toughness when you play the game. And I know you've battled some adversity, right? There was a cramping issue a season ago, but it never seemed like you let that affect you overall, and especially the way you attack the game. Where did you develop that, your toughness on the court? I mean, I grew up with nine brothers, so I, mean, oh, I, shoot. I had to fight every day, you know? So um, I think it's just big having that mentality um, growing up and you know it was always installed at us like you know if you if you want to be that guy you got to you know be be that guy you know whatever it comes whether adversity you go through you know fight through it you know um, and that just to lay it on for basketball I remember just being in the backyard playing my brother in basketball Tyron and he used to beat me up every day push me around and I was like man when I get older you know when I get the opportunity to really beat you it's gonna be there so I think that's just traveled on throughout my career so what are those games like now Oh, I'm beating him for sure. There's no chance with him. <laughs> do you talk a little bit now yeah, that you get the I think revenge? He don't want to talk about it because he can't back it up. So, mm. I mean, uh, I, I will talk about it, but he don't want to talk about so it. So, nine brothers, where where do you stack up in terms of being the in the middle, youngest, oldest? I'm one of the youngest, so I have a, a little brother and a little sister. Okay. So, you got to be tough in yeah. that situation. Yeah, guys too. Man. And, you know, I'm pretty much taller than a lot of my older brothers and sisters, so. That probably drives your older brothers nuts. Yeah, it does. Cause you rub it in a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Give them the too small? Yeah, because we was younger, they'll say that I'd never get taller than them, stronger than them, but now I just look at me. So I always brag about it. So what is it like for them, you think, to watch you have your success mm -hmm. on a huge stage like the University of Texas? Uh, I mean, I, they enjoy it a lot. Uh, I mean, all my brothers play basketball, and just to see that, you know, they support me and my journey, just knowing that, you know, they had dreams of what I'm going through now. Um, being one of the first in my family to go to college and awesome. I, let alone play basketball. So, um, I mean, they're excited, you know, full support and just want me to keep pushing. How do you embrace that without putting too much pressure on yourself, knowing that you are among the first in your family? Um, I mean, it's something I always wanted to do. I say, you know, you, you got to be prepared for moments that you want in life, you know, and I always just, you know, wanted to get out of my city, always wanted to go to college um, and play basketball at the highest level. Um, and it, it makes it better that, you know, I got a full, um, you know, 
family that's supported me throughout the whole journey through the ups and downs just telling me you know just you know keep your head through it you know um, you know been through a lot um, so you know I really just feel like I can push through anything so let's talk about goals what are your goals in the game of basketball and in life in the game of basketball, it's always to win. Um, and I was always taught young by my brother that, you know, you can affect the game many ways um, than just scoring to um, win the game. So I feel like that's always my mindset going into the game. Um, and having a defensive mindset is just big on me. I hold that pride. And in life, you know, it's just make it to the next level, you know, play basketball professionally, um, be able to take care of my family, build my family, um, and just make generational wealth. Can I talk about defense a little bit? Yeah. Because sure. that's unfortunately, people love the scoring. And you can definitely score, but uh, you talk about, you know, building a future for yourself in the NBA. They love that too. Yeah. They love the defense. Yeah, that defense. goes a long way. Who's your favorite matchup? Like, who's your favorite guy to try to lock down and chase around? <sighs> I never really thought about having a favorite guy. Um, I always, you know, end up playing and guard one of the best perimeter uh, guards. So I feel like whoever honestly um i think last game was a good matchup for me um you know he's, he's a good player um just going out there you know and it's always like playing shooters you know just i feel like they think they can get a shot off and i'm just gonna climb right up under you or pressure you you know from full court just knowing you got to be uncomfortable so i say you know i got a favorite matchup every night um i enjoy it i treat everybody the same i feel like i'm not gonna let you get the ball back I'm going to take you out of rhythm uh, with your offense, so I just want to mess all that up. And then when the game is on the line, you've already proven you can keep your calm, you can be collected, and you can make the game-winning bucket. Let's break down the game winner against Baylor. Check it out right here and just walk me through this. Um, so at, at first, honestly, I wasn't going to pass the ball in. Coach always tells the guards do not pass the ball in unless it's a, you know, it's a press or anything like that, but I, I didn't see nobody coming by the ball. Um, I was looking for Max to get downhill. But um, they were covering him, and I saw Dylan coming up, so I just knew I had to get it, go downhill. And we, you know, um, during the preparation week, you know, we worked on stuff like this um, in situations. So I just knew to stay calm. Um, Coach didn't call no timeout. I knew he had to trust in the players, and just had to get down and uh, make it done. Describe the awareness in that situation, because a couple of things are going on. Obviously, the game clock is winding down, and you're getting really close to coming back down and hitting the floor before you release that shot. What do you recall about that moment in time and those two things going on? Um, if I'm being honest, I knew I was going to make it, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I love the honesty. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I knew I was going to make it. Um, I just knew I had to get downhill and, you know, just explode. I feel like I'm an explosive guard. Um, and, you know, when I first caught the ball, I looked up at the clock to see how many dribbles I have. You know, if it's six seconds on the clock, I got six dribbles, five seconds, five dribbles. So um, just having that awareness in the back of your head as a point guard, um, I mean, that, that all led into that shot. Well, I believe you with the explosiveness because that brings us to our next play that's set up by defense, this thunderous dunk against West Virginia. And you get all of this, and you get up, Tyrese. <laughs> Yeah, that, that play right there, um, I was telling Corey before the game, usually I always tell him, man, I'm feeling good this game. I think I'm going to do this dunk, do this dunk. But I was like very serious that like during warm ups this game, like Coach, I'm, um, Coach Corey, I'm really feeling good this game. You know, like my knees feeling good. I'm feeling like, you know, uh, high school Tyrese Hunter. So um, for that just to come full circle like that, you know, I, I held it down for that one. I think you had a couple of those in that game. Yeah, I had two of them. Um, I could have had another one on a fast break. I laid it up. Oh, that, it why'd you lay it up, man? My knees was getting to me. Okay, okay. <laughs> two, two was your limit in yeah, that moment right, right there. Right there yeah. Hey, Tyrese, it's great to catch you up. It's been so much fun to watch you play, and I know huge things await for you in your future on the court and away from it as well. Thank you so it. much Thank for you. your time. Appreciate you.